Hello, everybody. Now, check this out. The show must go on because this is what we do. It's Punta Cana at the beach night. The SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live stream. And you know what this means. You see right over here on my shoulder, Soulless Beach Club. The SSN Lifestyle Punta Cana Music Festival is going to be here. May 9th through the 12th. May 16th through the 19th, Sean Rayford and friends are going to be here the first weekend. And the band that you saw rehearsing a little bit of, Sean Rayford and the full band will be in the following weekend with Club Nouveau. But tonight, it's capitalism, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if you can hear me because there is wind blowing throughout this venue. And once again, capitalism. Do you need to buy a business to survive? It's the millionaire mindset, ladies and gentlemen. So therefore, you know what time it is. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live Stream. Stop struggling now, gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, you see the flicker of lights in the background. Well, we're here at the beach in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. And I had a meeting tonight with Taro, the owner of this place. But as you know, it's island time around here. He didn't show up. So as I say, the show still must go on. And once again, we have a lot to talk about because there is situation that is brewing amongst us. And what do I mean by that? Meaning the cost of living is going to increase so high that even $150,000 won't save you in about three, four short years. So that's why we have to start talking about it, keep talking about it, and getting you guys into buying assets that pay you. No longer are liabilities going to keep you alive. Otherwise, you're going to have to work till you're 70 years old, just like the Gen, Gen Zs who don't know that their Social Security retirement age has increased because they can't pay us, ladies and gentlemen, because we're out here raising the roof. We're out here partying. We're out here doing weightlifting. We're out here eating right. We're not going to die at the average age of 77 on average. We're going to die 80, 90. And guess who's going to be paying into our Social Security if it's still solvent? That's right. You guys who have jobs that are now 20, 30 years old, thank you so much. 
but you need to make more money so you can pay me my retirement monies from Social Security too. Now, how do you like that for an intro, ladies and gentlemen? The millionaire mindset is at play. Let me know about the volume. So let's start it off with Laverne Pennant. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night live stream. He has that icon next to his name. And you guys know what it is in the YouTube channel, this YouTube street. The AKA Mr. Cool is here, an investor of his own, extraordinaire. And he says his tagline this evening, hello, SSN Nation. I hope everyone is doing well. I received the notification and the trailer, and he has that icon next to his name, which I greatly appreciate. Thank you so much for that. And Professor Auntie Val, when we start talking about capitalism, she has taken the bull by the horns. She says, see me at beachfrontjava.com, ladies and gentlemen. And for all you in the SSN Nation, use the promo code SSN Lifestyle. All capital letters, SSN Lifestyle. Just like the SSN Lifestyle Punta Cana Music Festival here at Solis Bar and Grill. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're having a little bit of fun tonight. And you got to have that beachfront Java. And I'm at the beachfront right now. And .com. And I use that promo code. It's premium blend coffee. Tea. Fine ground. Drip ground. Cure reg. You have no excuse. And whole beans, if you want to grind it, no excuses. And then you say, oh, what about the beans? No worries. They're in premium blend beans from those areas you want. Africa, Central America, Indonesia, South America, all is in play, ladies and gentlemen. And that's not all. You get some tea as well. So that's going to be pretty awesome. But let's get into it. Welcome, Auntie Val, to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night live stream with that icon next to your name. I greatly appreciate it. And she says her tagline, good evening, family, with the heart, with the strength, with the support. Thank you so much. And the beachfront job. So, you know, that's awesome in itself. All right, let's go. She says, hear you loud and clear. Oh, this is awesome. This is where the Punta Cana Music Festival is going to be. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's a nice, small little club. I'm sitting in the soon-to-be VIP area. See the flickering lights right here? That's about where the stage is going to be back there. So the VIPs are going to be right up here up front. There's a bar. There's a restaurant. There's some food. There's an upstairs patio. That's right. If you have a VIP ticket, I can't show you. I might turn the cam around, but the VIP ticket, that means you're going to be in that private event that's going to be upstairs. You're going to be fed a nice dinner. You're going to have a meet and greet with some of the artists. The artists are going to do a jam session up there. Everybody might be able to hear a little bit of it, but they won't be up there with you. And then the band start playing down here on Thursday nights. That's going to be May 9th and May 16th behind us. And then, of course, the rest is going to be awesome. All right. We got Dominican bands, Latin bands. We have our own. You saw Sean Rayford. You saw Vincent. He's coming as well. And we have some other artists that's coming. Lucky Weatherspoon. The crooner is going to be in the house. We got some other R&B and soul artists as well. And don't miss next weekend, the 16th through the 19th. Get your tickets now at SSNLifestyle.com. Now, Victor Marrero, a soon-to-be retiree, a superstar investor. At the ripe old age of retirement, a couple of years before, he said, I'm going to add something else to my repertoire. I'm going to do options trading. I'm going to learn how to do it. Well, he's doing the damn thing, ladies and gentlemen. That just goes to show you, you are never too old to learn, and you're never too young to learn, because otherwise, you're going to be left behind. You will not be in that millionaire conversation because it's a lot easier to become a millionaire now, especially when things are double the price. So now you need millions, more than one, to survive if you plan on living 30 years past 50 years old. Start dividing. A million dollars times 20 years means you, you're going to live on $50,000 a year. Hell, you can't live on $50,000 a year right now. You think you're going to be able to live on $50,000 a year 10 or 20 years from now? That ought to tell you, you can't do a million. You're going to need like two million. So is $100,000 a year going to be a, be enough 20 years from now? Hell no. So start thinking about three million. I know it's a daunting task, 
but you can get started now, ladies and gentlemen. And Victor Marrero, once again, welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night live stream with that icon next to your name. And he says his tagline, hello all, let's do this. That's what they're doing down here. It looks like I may have somebody here, no? Yes, for sure. Yes, definitely. But I'm waiting on Taro, though. So, where's the party? Yeah, there's no party. There's no party. party is May 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. It's a month from now. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have bands and everything. Party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hook it up. Hook it up. Yeah. 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 See, we have other people down here on the beach at night. This place stays open till when? 1 a.m.? 1 a.m., right? This stays open till 1 a.m. Nah, 9 p.m. Right now. No, it stays open till 1. It depends on the, on the people. That's right, the people, the amount of the, people. The, the way, you know, yeah, I'm waiting on him. Where's he at? No, no. So put the, yeah, put the word out. Put the word out. May 9th through the 12th. And then May 16th through the 19th. Yeah, concert's going to be here a month from now. Yes. Americana. Uh, oh, yes. No, Florida. No, kind of. California. California. Yes. All right, ladies ah, and gentlemen. You're lucky, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> lucky dude. Lucky dude. Yeah. That's right. We. You, you're not sure, huh? No, no, sir. No, 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 no. 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 Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, say, ladies and gentlemen, this is this. We have tourists here tonight. I got to get back to the live stream. Right. I'm on a live stream. You're live right now. Worldwide. All right, Brian P. Welcome to the SSN Nation. Yes, SSN Nation. Welcome to the Wealthy Wednesday Night live stream. And you're a superstar investor. He just entered the building, ladies and gentlemen. He's Mr. Dividend. In fact, I think that's the name I'm going to give Brian P. Mr. Dividends. Because you buy assets, you don't buy liabilities, ladies and gentlemen. You know the mantra around here. All right. Now he says his tagline tonight. Hello, Eric. Hope all is well with you. Hello, SSN family. That's right. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I never got that like Yeah. The live stream, you were live. Yeah, kind of. Used to live in Jersey too. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Brian P. Smash that like button. All right. Smash the like button and make sure everybody else get the word out. I'm at the beach. In Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, at Solas Bar and Grill. I'm waiting on the owner. See, this is what I'm saying. These guys tell me 9 p.m. I got a meeting. I tell him, hey, I got live streams to do. We do the show no matter what. Don't matter who it is. We still doing the live show. I don't know where he is, but I got to check. Let me see. <laughs> They're coming. We're coming. Okay, he still's not here. Yeah. <laughs> no, we say in Dominican Republic tonight in Punta Cana. That's right. Volume is perfect. Thank you so much, Victor Morero. Glad to hear the microphone is working. Mic check, mic check. I got the notification and the video. Thank you so much. Now, you guys know you're supposed to share the video. And by the way, like I was telling the young lady here, May 9th through the 12th, May 16th through the 19th, jazz, R&B, soul, Latin. Dominican music right here, Soles Bar. And by the way, get your tickets, ssnlifestyle.com. That's where you go get the tickets. We have general admission and VIP, so go get them, all right? I would suggest you get them now. We started having people some buy some, but once again, Brian P., thank you, Eric, for all the wonderful information. Thank you so much. Thank you, SSN family, for the great information as well. Thank you so much, Mr. Dividends. That's what I'm calling them right now, ladies and gentlemen. That's the new nickname. I still don't have one for Victor Morrell yet, but one day something will click. So here we are. 
Victor Marrero, give us the walk around tour. Unfortunately, I can't give you the walk. Well, I could, but I'm going to have to hold the laptop. But as you guys know, we have an option. These things, you know, the million dollar device that you're holding. Some of you are using it just to go doing social media, but you could be using it for business too. Well, guess what? I'm going to tag in. So Victor Morrell said, give us the walk around tour. Well, quite frankly, it's dim lights, perfect ambiance. Now all they need is damn music up in here. It would be nice. It'd be awesome. But I hear a little music in the background, but you guys know what I'm talking about. We got to have live music up in here. Somebody that plays some more music that you can dance to, do some things. So I'm going to give you the walk around tour, but it's going to be in about five minutes. All right. I'll connect to my phone. Yes. E. White, a superstar investor. He doesn't own one properties or two or three in the DR. He owns many and he's coming May 9th through the 13th. He's coming May 13th to the 15th to the SSN Lifestyle Punta Cana Investors Forum as well. And by the way, if you missed out, the tickets are $249. Now, you missed out, but you can still get it. I just saw Glenny today, Mo. Mo's not here. I saw Glenny today, saw Gennaro today, looking years younger. And by the way, gentlemen, I got something to say. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live Stream, E. White. With that icon next to your name, which I humbly appreciate for the financial support. And he says, smash that like button. That's exactly right. Check. That's right. Get tickets. Check. Takeover. Check. Send my shirt size. Check. 2024 takeover. Check. It's going down, ladies and gentlemen. I got news today. I'm supposed to be receiving. That contract hasn't come yet. It's about to be. The takeover is about to happen. And oh, 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 my. I went up to Larimar today. You're damn right. I showed up at their offices. They were like, oh, he actually showed up? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do show up. I tell you I'm going to come see you. I just don't talk smack. I talk smack to your face. If you're messing up, I come see you. I came all the way to the DR just to see these clowns. Now, I got to give them credit. They said, hey, Eric, hey, hold on. We got to have conversation. I said, all right, we're going to have conversation. So I had to get my beefs about it. Hey, I don't think you can do this. They're saying we can do stuff. Hey, check this out in Bolivia. We did 250,000 square meters of a building that's 11 or 12 stories high, and we could do one floor per week. So therefore, the buildings at Larimar are only 30,000 square feet. They're not 250,000 square feet. They're only 30,000. We'll be able to do a floor a week. I said, what are you saying? I said, okay, you're not doing that at Oceana. You're not going to be doing that at Atlantida. You're doing the structures. They said, oh, ho, hold on, Eric. We got something to talk about here. It's not really maybe our fault. The developer is the one that tells us when to build and what to do. I said, hold on. I didn't think about that. I'm glad I came up here. And now we're having a real conversation. But I said, that's besides my point. I said, I'm just using examples. I said, what about that Larimar thing up at the cliff where I know there's volcanic rock? They're like, Eric, hold on. We got something for you. We have solved the problem. We created some coral that we can lay down to cover up most of the spots. But if we find a spot, we have to fill it. You guys know there's holes from volcanic rocks. When they form, there's going to be holes. So there you have it. So you see, they're explaining why they're having a little issues plus environmental situations. And there's a reason they're not showing the cliff, which I can't talk about. So therefore, it's maybe all good. Now, we still have a crossroads where I said, I still don't think you're making this happen. I don't care. You can tell me a floor a week. You can tell me a floor a month. I said, either way, 17 months from now is due date. I said, I still don't believe it. So one guy says, okay, come see me at the end of December. I said, no, I don't need to. I think you're not going to be done regardless how much I love the project. I said, if you are going to be done, then all the better. So then I had to cop to the situation at hand. I said, hold on. I said, here's the thing. Where's my... Where's my stocks at? Where's my stocks? I'm sitting over here promoting you. You're in a Spanish stock exchange and I'm promoting you for free. Does that look like I should be doing it for free? I said, I do it for free because I thought you guys were legitimate. I thought you guys were making things happen. I said, I didn't care. I invested in the project, so why not help promote it? 
But then I said, when you guys say I'm going to build in December, I'm going to build in January, I'm going to build in February, stuff's not happening. Now, all of a sudden, I got people calling me up saying, hey, what's going on, Eric? What's happening? I'm not you guys. You guys should be customer service handling this. Not me. But I'm handling it. And I'm not getting compensated because now I care. Now I need to be compensated. They say, oh, hold on. We, we, we might have a conversation about something like this. I say, no, that's good. But I said, that still ain't going to change my mind. I said, we got to talk a little more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we talked a little more. They kind of like changed my mind because now I understood what they're going through. Because I already know the development game around here is screwed up. So therefore, if a developer is telling people to build the structures or not build the structures, it's not on them. So I said, damn, I can't use that metric then. They're like, exactly. I'm not going to tell you what exactly is going on, but all I'm saying is they may tell us not to build. So therefore, we wait. It's not up to us to build. We're, it's not our project. I said, well, this is great to hear, but I'm still not a believer until I'm a believer. So we will see. But in the meantime, we come to some consolation prizes. Hey, Eric, check out your emails from Brian P. All right. Ja Wei J, another investor is in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation. Wealthy Wednesday night live stream. And he has that icon next to his name, which I humbly appreciate. And he says, hello, SSN Nation, as his tagline, received notification, saw the trailer and smashed that like button. Well, Jawway J, we're here in the DR, Solace Bar or Beach Club, as I call it. You don't want to miss a month from now. Soul, R&B, jazz, Latin, Dominican music, all on tap for the week, 16th through the 19th, May 9th through the 12th. And if you want to get into the business game, then I suggest you come to the Puna Conda Investors Forum as well. May 13th, 14th and 15th, all in the house. Airfare Hotel is not included unless you buy the top dog VIP package for the music event. Not only do you get hotel included and tickets for four days of live music, you also receive ticket to the Puna Conda Investors Forum. It's that simple. All right. How far from the beach is that place? Victor Marrero, I'm on the beach. It is literally 100 paces. I'm in the water. I'm at the beach. Okay, now, you, now you're making me have to do a walk around tour. All right. What you're seeing flickering is actually they have a, like a little, I want to call it a teepee, but it's a bed underneath. And so it's lit up. Uh, so that's what you see flickering in the background. But beyond that, 50 paces to the water is the beach. We're on the beach, man. Literally. I'm surprised you can't hear the ocean waves crashing. This mic, I must have had, I must have turned it down too much. Let's go see. Hold on. Let me go check this out, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Here we are. So I'll do a walk around tour because I do not know where Taro is. He's hiding out. He has me come down here. Late night meeting. I'm thinking it's all good. You know what? Let's go walk around. I'm going to I'm going to hook in on my phone to the live stream. All right. Let me let me do what we got to do. All right. Let's go do this the right way. Hey, this is what we do. <laughs> 15,000. Stop struggling now. Stop struggling now. 15. <laughs> hey. Yeah. That's what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, let them know, right? This lady does not know it's 2024 and E White and everybody else knows. SSN Nation Takeover 2024. So you know what's coming. The first step is the party. And oh, by the way, I got to mention something else. I got to mention something else. Laramar offices, Javier, the communications director, we're going to be in touch from now on. So I get it directly from the horse's mouth, uh, horse's mouth the updates. 
That's what we're going to be doing, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be awesome. And they said they're going to help promote this musical event. That's right. To people in Spain, to people all over, they're going to promote. And I don't know what else is going to happen. But oh my God, we got Kumbaya. I can't believe it. We came to an understanding. Oh, the big dogs are hanging out. I don't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. I kind of do. This is what we do. All right. Hey, Eric. Coney paid $2.79 per share this month. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this and don't know what Coney is, C-O-N-Y is a stock, you go to yieldmaxetfs.com. Can you imagine getting $2.79 per share of stock every month? Let me ask you guys something. If somebody tells you, hey, spend $1,000, you guys are out here doing it. You buy cars now and spend $1,000 a month for a damn car, like a dummy. I hate to say it, but that's what it's like. You have liabilities. You could be paying $1,000 a month and buying assets that are going to pay you like $200 a month. I mean, $200 every month. All right. $279. You only need 10 shares, $27. 100 shares, $279 every month you could have gotten. Come on. Get with the program. All right. Assets. That's what you need, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of Sean Rayford, who's coming May 9th through the 12th. It's Sean Rayford and friends. May 16th through the 19th. It's not only Sean Rayford, but it's the full-blown band that you're going to see right here practicing. And I've been playing it a little bit, but check it out, ladies and gentlemen. You guys know what time it is. This is what we're doing. Stocks, real estate, music, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here you go, guys. All right, here's the guest that's been talking that you heard. Let me see if I can get this. Let me see. Hold on. No, I got to get rid of one of the screens. Hold on a second. Let's get rid of one of the screens. Okay, look behind me. Here we go. See, they're open till 1 a.m. You can have, okay, let me get this right. I got to get this off, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get this off. Let me get full screen. I got to take the other one off. So hold on. Yeah. All right, now we're going. Here we go. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Can you hear me now? Let me know. Okay, the beach is behind me. Right? Look at this. Okay? You guys might have seen this in the pictures. Here we go. Now, Victor Marrero says, where's the beach at? Okay. Check this out. I'm walking. Oh, by the way, upstairs over here. Upstairs. That's where the VIP section is going to be 9th and 16th for the first two hours with your dinner and everything. Now, I'm sitting in the little teepee that I was talking about. That's right. Now, look, there's a table out there for dinner, which is kind of cool. Now, I don't know how much light we have, nor do I know how far this Wi-Fi is going to go. But once again, SSN Nation takeover is going to be in effect. Here we go. Now, I'm going to turn around. Oh, somebody's out here eating. I didn't even realize it. Somebody has nice dinners out here. Look at this. This is beautiful. 
Uh, looks like we still have Wi-Fi. Very nice. Very nice. Somebody has lights out here, too. We still have Wi-Fi out here. Check this out. Okay. I don't see any water out here. You can't see water. Yes, yes, you can see water. Somebody has a light. That's why you see the water flickering, but I'm at the beach, literally. This is how far we are, right here. We're at the beach. That's where I was just sitting at. We're here. Actually, somebody's out there too. I see the lights. Somebody's doing like scuba diving or something. That's why you see the lights on the surface, but it's pitch black. Now we're talking, that's right, let's go. That's what I'm saying. SSN Lifestyle Music Festival is gonna be out here on the beach, ladies and gentlemen. It's going down. Hopefully you can still hear me. Now, let's go find Taro. I don't know what's going on with him, but this just means I'm gonna walk around. He's not here. He pulled a stunt on me, a stunt. All right, he pulled a big time stunt. He's not here, had me come over here, saying we're doing biz, he agrees. Now, Victor Morrell says, and if you don't like Coinbase as the underlying stock, then you can do NBDY for the $2.60 per share. Exactly, exactly right. Oh, by the way, let me, let me sit down over here. Let me show you guys. Here is the VIP section. Right here, couches. This is gonna be square up here. So we're gonna uh, change it to where it's a U shape. So VIP section is gonna be up front. Get your tickets if you wanna be a VIP. Quite frankly, they're $6.99. If you want a hotel included, then it escalates from there. But that gets you all four days VIP sections up front for every show. So that means you'll have a nice, cozy, comfortable seat. Then we're gonna be selling tables as well for everybody, if we don't sell enough VIP tickets, fine. Then we're gonna sell VIP access where you can buy tables. Either way, it's gonna be a stone cold cast, as they say. So I'm gonna walk up here. Um, I still don't see Taro playing with me. He's not here apparently. I guess he never showed up. Nope, never showed up. Had me up here late night. Here you go. This is a restaurant where you get to eat. This is the spot right here. All right. This is where you can eat at. So that's how close we are to the beach. And there's one last little creme de la creme. Unbelievably, this place can hold six to 800 people in this small space. It's going to be awesome. But by the way, I got this right here. I don't know if you can see this. There's a grill right here. So when we have our little SSN Lifestyle Music Festival, this is where the grill's gonna be. How sweet is that? Can do the grill. Now, let's go upstairs a little bit, all right? This is where there's gonna be like a meet and greet. There's gonna be a jam session up here for the May 9th and May 16th. It's gonna be pretty awesome. And we still have these guys up here. How was the dinner? Muy bueno? Ah, excellent. All right, so we're upstairs. I'm not gonna show the family or nothing, but here you go. You're not in the video, don't worry about it. <laughs> You're not in the video. You're not in the video. The video's facing me, not you. That's why I walked around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You have people who don't want to be in videos, but you know, everybody's got attitude. I keep telling you, this is why you should be safe out here. This is why you should be safe out here. That's why it gotta be safe out here. People have attitudes. You hear the lady in the background saying that, talking that crazy noise. So anyhow, that's how we do it. You never know. Could have got spicy up in there, especially if the husband would have jumped up. You guys know I could be in the DR under bad circumstances, but I'm glad the husband didn't jump up trying to uh, hold his wife's honor. 
because y'all would have been like, uh oh, Eric did a two, three, five piece on the dude. He's down. Oh, he's down. It would have been bad, ladies and gentlemen. So, anyhow, very nice. We can see that white waves. That's the life I'm talking about. Yeah, Victor Morero is kind of weird. I mean, you know, if this was Puerto Rico, you you lived in Puerto Rico, you know what would happen. You know, there's good and well, this would not be empty. We'd be down here with the bonfire. We'd have music going. We would be cooking on the grill. And it's like 80 degrees with a nice stiff breeze. Woo! Talk about awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. I'm going to get off of this. I'm going to get off of this and uh, we're going to play a little video and then I'm going to come back on the laptop and I'm going to probably make this short at 11 p.m. tonight. I have to go to stop play. That's right, guys. I'm doing so much stuff. It's like take over SSN Nation. Hey, uh, don't be a stop Taro. It's, yeah. Thank you. All right. So here we go. Uh, that's what I'm talking about too, Victor Marrero. Let's put that on the screen. Exactly what we're talking about. All right, let's go. We're gonna put in a little, little commercial. I call them commercials now. Check it out. This is what we do, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. He's got a good got shot. A lot of competition. Though, the guy huh? can play, but we all showed up to dethrone him this year. <laughs> <laughs> but I brought him something, courtesy of Poker 101A. This is his jersey. And then we're going to auction one off. Oh, sweet. So he's got another one. Great. All right. Cool. Very nice. We got some heavyweights here. It's all so you can Marco hold your own. David Delafish Juliet. You know, I'm here at Phil Ivey might even be here. I mean, we have heavyweights here tonight. So, uh, us little guys, we're going to have to do something serious. Here he is, the man of the hour, Don Tito. Last year's tournament winner arriving to defend his title. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. There we go. There we go. I'm being critiqued. I'm being critiqued right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. They start Thursdays. No. No, no, no. Victor. Yeah. She says less commercials. She says less commercials. All right. She's giving oh thank you so much. She says less commercials. All right, they start Thursdays. Yes, Victor Marrero. Thursdays is the first night of the SSN Lifestyle Music Festival. After we have the VIP upstairs, then the artists, after they do their thing, there's other artists going to be playing down here on the stage at like starting around uh 7 30. And then at 8 p.m., the jam session for everybody else, they're going to come down here and jam. For everybody else who has general admission tickets, you will be here. The party starts and it's going down. All right. And then it stops at 10 p.m. at night. That's when we're stopping. There's 7 to 10 p.m. at night, every night. And then in the middle of the day, 12 to 2.30 p.m., we have more artists playing. In the middle of the day, on Friday, on Saturday, and on Sunday, you don't want to miss Sunday. Why do I say not Sunday? Because on Sunday, if you have general admission tickets for Sunday, we're going to be in a pool of water. That's right. In the middle of the ocean with drinks, with bands playing on one side of the boat. And we're going to be in the middle of the ocean with our drinks and everything partying in the water that goes up two and a half, three feet. That's right. Our own little private beach cove. You don't want to miss that. So make sure you have your tickets. And Sean Rayford and friends are going to be playing on the other side, along with some Dominican musicians as well. It's going to be off the charts. SSNLifestyle.com. Get your tickets all both weekends. Same thing's going to happen. All right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. Now, let's get back to the business at hand, because there's a lot of people out here that doesn't understand capitalism. They say you do need to. I'm saying, do you need to buy a business Nobody to survive? millionaire mindset you guys better get your business because otherwise how can you enjoy this nice 85 degree weather with the breeze and be here on a what is this wednesday night wednesday night ladies and gentlemen 
That's what we're talking about here. How many people are here? Let me see how many people are in the Millionaire Club. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. But they might live here. Who does not live here? I don't know. Who's hanging out on a Wednesday night on the islands who don't live here and who can stay here for as long as they want? No, we're no tourists. She said, of course, we're a tourist. <laughs> no tourists. See, that's the thing. Are you a tourist? Are you going to be a guy that says, you know what? I made my investments. I have passive income coming in and therefore I can be anywhere on the planet. Like Victor Marrero is going to be in five months, five short months. He's going to retire and he's going to be in Spain. He's going to be in Europe. He's going to be in Puerto Rico. He's going to be in Dominican Republic. I know that for a fact. Where else he goes, I don't know. But I know those spots he's going to be for a fact in the next six to seven, eight months. And he don't have to go back home if he does not want to. Isn't that the life, ladies and gentlemen, that you would want? You can go anywhere you want. Hang out as long as you want. Do a one-way ticket. How many of you go internationally with a one-way ticket? I got a one-way ticket here. I don't know when I'm leaving. I'll leave when I feel like it. But we got business to handle. And that's the reason you want businesses that make money while you're sleeping, while you're on vacation. It's that simple. It's that simple. Not everyone is good for business. It takes total commitment. Now, business, he's right about that. That's why we talk about, yes, it's nice to start a business. But we also have to talk about why don't you just buy into a business that's already profitable? Be a shark. Act like you're on Shark Tank. How much money do you make? How much money can I receive? I want 10%. I want 15%. I'll put in my 10 or 15 or 20 or 30%. Therefore, I'll get, if the place makes $10,000, maybe 30%, I get $3,000 a month profit. I can live with that. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Bizbuysell.com bizbuysell.com in the United States. Oh, but if you want to come over to the DR and have some fun, then you go to drlistings.com. We talked about that on the Money Making Monday, right? You go to drlistings.com and enter and buy a business. In fact, over here, they do all kind of crazy stuff. They say, oh, I'll do owner financing. Oh, I'll just rent you. What the? You can get in many different ways, but you got to be you know, have a plan. Just can't think that you're just going to make business work. You have to make sure you're working the business as well. So once again, Victor Morrell is right. It's very hard for ordinary citizens who are based on W2 platforms to all of a sudden wake up after working 20, 15, 20 years in W2 platforms and all of a sudden expanding. Now, it's been a lot easier because of social media out here. But make sure you understand, smash that like button so the YouTube gods know that you're in the house all right they know you're in the house and if you can't get in the chat room tonight there's a reason it's because on wednesday night live streams only members with the icon can be in the chat room everybody else you can watch but then you have to come back on friday night then the chat room's open to everybody monday chat room's open to everybody any other live stream chat room's open to everybody but a part of the perks of being a member of the channel you can be on the wednesday night live stream chat room only in fact Members can always join me on screen anytime they want. That's another little perk that they have. So once again, we will see what's happening. Oh, Victor Morrell is giving us his retirement date. It's my official last work date is 12th of July. Effective date of retirement is August 1st. First pension check effective 1st of September. All under control. First stop is DR and PR before heading to Europe. See, ladies and gentlemen, Victor Morero shared enough with us. I kind of knew what he was going to do. His states and countries he's about to visit. He's been candid like we all have. We all been candid, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, now I talked a little bit about Laramar. I talked a little bit about. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a contract that hasn't been signed. So here's what actually happened. The lawyer doing their lawyer things did not put together the contract over the last four or five days. So we couldn't send a contract to the guy that's going to fund this project, part of the project, not the full one. He's only putting in like 4 million. I'll just be candid. We need 7.7. .7. Ultimately, we only need 1.7 up front to hold everything, get it in, uh, get it under, uh, 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 under uh, 
in the in the, what do I want to say? Get it in escrow, and then we need the additional uh five point something. So anyhow, he's only putting up four, and he says the guy that's buying it that wants to fund it. You know what he says? He says. Man, I, I don't want to wait no more because I don't want to miss out on that in case somebody else wants to put in 7.7 .7 and I'm out of luck. He says, I'll send over a contract so I know I'm in the deal and I'm going to send you the $4 million. So we're good. SSN Nation Takeover is about to commence. And it's not going to be pretty for a lot of people. I'm telling you right now. By the way, speaking of that, so what do you do when you're in business? You try to reduce your expenses, right? It's capitalism. If I make $100,000 a year and it costs me $75,000 a year to run a business, that only leaves me $25,000. So what do I do? There's only a few matters that you can do. You can either cut off your employees, reduce your expenses, reduce your cost of what you're buying. There's only a few things you can do. So in our case, what would it not make sense? Wouldn't it make sense if you said, if you're going to build and develop something in the Dominican Republic, wouldn't it make sense that you should actually be wholesaling or creating your own blocks? Well, ladies and gentlemen, SSN Nation Takeover dictates we get our own block making machines. So therefore, we get our blocks at wholesale price. The prices on my project are based on prices that are costing the price that I have to pay for the constructors. But now the constructors don't have to pay $2 a block. What if I can get it down to 50 cents per block? I believe that is called more than a 50 to 60% decrease, 75% decrease in cost that is significant so imagine if somebody charged you a thousand dollars per square meter to build something and all of a sudden it's more like 750 800 per square meters because you make the bricks yes ladies and gentlemen take over 2024 it's going down and congratulations to victor exactly Congratulations. Hey, Victor, your last day. That's on my birthday. Nice. And my birthday is on French. France's Independence Day is when my birthday is. Do you guys know when the French Independence Day is? Anybody? Put it in the chat room. I know you can Google it in five minutes or less. But if you don't put it in in 10 seconds or less, then I'm assuming you don't know what the French Independence Day is. That is my birthday. And for everybody who don't know, you're about to know now. It is July 14th. That's right. You heard me. I don't speak a lick of French no more, but it does not matter. I still have a French birth certificate. You're damn right, ladies and gentlemen. It's in French. I can't read it either. All right. Congratulations, Victor. All right. I'm working on my retirement. Brian P., I think you are almost there. Uh, you're only going to grow because you already put yourself in the wheel of fortune. You've already put where you're in the Mr. Dividend category and it's compounding on itself. So now all you have to do is take some of those proceeds and put into a lower risk. So then you keep it. But if you're going to sit there and say six, seven, eight thousand dollars per month in dividends and one day you'll be able to extract that, meaning you can keep making more money while you're sleeping on that. And then eventually down the line, you'll be sitting at home collecting ten to fifteen thousand dollars per month. And your only worry is going to be the tax man saying, how much do I have to give up in taxes on this? So I think you put yourself in a great position to be traveling around the world, doing whatever you want sooner than later. All right. So great job on that. So that's a wonderful thing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it appears I don't have any any power. So my uh, laptop is powering down. So hold on a second. Let me go uh, do this. Hold up a second. Nothing. Zero. I make zero money right <laughs> No. 
No, 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 no. No. No, let no no. See, no. No. See, see, see. The lady says she loves capitalism. She says, yes, I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm supposed to be making money. That's right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes, congratulations, Victor. <laughs> hey, Victor. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm working on my retirement. Hey, yeah, thank you. Brian P., you're kidding me. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. <laughs> We're ready for the next chapter. This is when we start making serious. Yep, thank you. Crazy. We're making more money on retirement than working. <laughs> I'm ready, Victor. Exactly. Victor's and did the damn thing. Yes. <laughs> yes. How many? Uh, Three kids. Yes. Oh no. Somebody's asking me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. The lady's asking me, how many children do I have? I say I have three. Then she said the magic word. Are they a boy or a girl? Now I'm just gonna say one thing. You'll know when I give the answer, you'll know God is punishing me. For all the things I did when I was younger, he's punishing me. He gave me three daughters. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here you go. Here you go. God said, you know, all them girls you were messing around with when you were young. I'm going to make sure you have daughters. And oh, man, I have daughters, ladies and gentlemen. And they were awesome. I just got to say. Yes, congratulations. Congratulations to my oh, here comes Taro now. Here he comes now. After he stood me up. Here he comes now, ladies and gentlemen. He's here. He's here. He's here. I'm doing a live stream, Taro. Come on. Come on, man. I'm talking about you. We're talking about doing the Soleil's Beach Club. What's happening? Yeah. See. Taro knows everybody here, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Taro right here. See, he likes the camera. Come on, here's Taro, man. He's the dude. Look, he stood me up, man, for an hour and a half, and I told him the show must go on, Taro. Yeah, you know, must go on. We help people. Capitalism. Wow. Do you need a business to survive? What is that? Hell yes, right? Oh, yeah. You're damn right. That's what we do. So, hey, hold on, Taro. Yeah. Are we having the Soleil's Bar? We're having the SSN Lifestyle we're Music gonna, Festival? We're going to make it. Man. Hold on, hold on. Come here. Come here. Tell them. Are we doing it here? Of course, man. We're going to do it, man. There you go, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. We're live from Punta Cana, Dominican Republic at Soleil's Beach Club. I'll talk we're to you in a rock. minute. We're gonna, I'm going to yeah. be off in about 15, 20 minutes, all right? No problem, no problem. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from the horse's mouth. So once again, he showed up. Island time. Victor Morel, you know, you expect this in Puerto Rico, right? 9 p.m. means 10 p.m. So here we go. All I'm saying is, now you heard it from the horse's mouth. If you go to Soleil's, they call it Soleil's Bar on Instagram, you will see that guy, he promotes his club. This is his club out here, ladies and gentlemen. So when you come to Puna Cana, remember you go SSN Nation, SSN Lifestyle, you got nothing but love. And the people that came earlier in November, E. White, Mo. G, George's Charles, they felt some of that love when we showed up. People were like, oh, SS Nation, yeah, we know who you guys are. Right on, showed nothing but love. Well, we got that now too here. Soleil's Beach Bar and Grill. That's right, promo time, yes. Yes, we got promo time. <laughs> Yep. Wow. Eric, you're damn right, man. I told you guys it's SSN oh, Nation man. takeover. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Me too. Please. I told you. <laughs> you can. I appreciate it. Like you no, no, no. Oh, tattoos. Okay. Oh, okay. We got a tattoo artist here in the house, ladies and gentlemen, going live. 
from Dominican Republic. We are live. Hey, what's the name of your tattoo? Indian. Indian. Yeah. Indian. Ink. Ink. Ink in. Ink in. Oh, ink in. Okay, ink in is down here. It's right here, Soles Bar. You're next to Soles. Where's your shop at? Look at that. I got my Instagram. Okay. Okay, let me see. Let me see. I'm a painter. Okay, here you go. Ink in Tattoo Pro. Maria. Maria. Okay. Here we go. She's from Russia. She's here. She's hanging out. Thank you so much. She knows Taro. That. That's right. Showing nothing but love. You guys know how we do this. We show love for people that are entrepreneurs, no matter where they are. It could be in the DR. She's been kind enough to give me critiques. She's been kind enough to show support. Oh and God. so I have to show oh, support oh, right oh, now. Oh, <laughs> Mark Twain. Mark Twain. She's showing me Mark Twain picture. <laughs> oh, really? That's your painting? That's my fucking painting. What? The classic painting. Oh, look nothing. at this. This is a painting. No, this is a huge painting, like, like that big. Like three feet by three feet, no, like, four feet by like four feet? Kind of like that big. Jesus Christ. That's pretty good. That's a painting, ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, you know where the tattoo artist, what's your name again, Maria? Uh, Maria Inkin, Inkin Tattoo Artist. Yeah, Inkin. Look at that shit. Fidel Castro? But you know what? There you go. The upstairs Ooh. of Fidel Castro, there's a map of the Cuba that he's smoking up. Yeah, nobody did that before. That's pretty good. Nobody that's did pretty that good. Before. That's Look pretty good. That. Yeah, I see that. Wow, that's you sell that? I'm painting that. Do you sell it? Of course, yes, I do. So you're an entrepreneur that's too? Okay, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This woman does Ernest oh wow. Wow, really? Really? Hey, that's a oh, real, that's another that before Martin. That's incredible. Look at this. That's incredible. And this is being up. That's incredible. And wow. Uh, okay. Eric, you got yourself some fans there now. Man, Victor Marrero, I told you, I am Mr. Worldwide. It ain't that bald-headed dude from Miami. Come on now. It's no pit bull. He stole that. Come on. They were calling me Mr. Worldwide 40 years ago. Stop playing. All right. Anyhow, you may need social security around you. Next, I'll ask you for a pitch. Victor. <laughs> Victor Marrero. E. White, are you in the house, E. White? E. White, are you in the house? Let Victor Marrero know how much fun we had here in the DR during the last November SSN Nation Punta Cana Real Estate Investors Forum. Tell them how much love we got if you're still in the house. That was not an issue, period. Victor Morrell, you got to come on down, man, and hang out. Everybody else got to come on down. Okay, enough with the promotions already. Let's get back to the capitalism because Brian P is asking me for emails. Me and Taro got to talk a little bit. So I'm going to have to get off tonight because at 11 p.m., I got to go see Johnny. And he's the guy that I'm now going to actually, since I'm going to have Sean Rayford and friends here, I'm going to actually try and get Sean Rayford and friends some gigs at the hotels and surprise them. Yes, I'm acting like agent and not even agent. You know how we do it here. We help people, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we do. All right. So let me go do something right here, right now. But uh, that is great pictures, by the way. That is awesome stuff. Now we have to go see it in a minute. I need to be over there. Brian P. Hey, I'm telling you, man, you need to be in the house. You need to get in the house. That's way I love DR and PR. The people are amazing, always happy, especially in that area. Exactly. Victor Morrell, that's what I'm saying. You know what time it is. You lived in the PR and the DR. There's no difference. 60, 70 miles away is PR. So we know what time it is. Again, everybody, I'm just going to say this. Every American citizen, every Canadian citizen, you guys should all stay in DR or PR, which is Puerto Rico, and you should stay and hang out for months. Once you understand, you then, when you go back to US after only two or three months, you see how chaotic, how fast it is. And you were sitting there thinking, man, I was just at the beach, like Soleil's Beach Club, 
chilling out, listening to nice little tracks in the background, meeting new people from all over the world. And we have a bond, like I said, bonfire on the beach. We don't tonight, but bonfire on the beach, grill in the background, grilling on the beach. And we have lights from fire and people hanging out, getting drinks and eating. That's what we used to do in Puerto Rico. Get a call at eight at night and be like, hey, man, we're down at the beach. We got the grill going. We're grilling some fish. We got some fruits. We got some uh, plantains. Got music going. That's what, and it could be at any time. We never had issues. Everybody in the neighborhood was all good. You didn't even have to live in the neighborhood. It was like a people two, three miles away. Hey, there's a party over at the beach. Let's go. Well, that's what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. This is open till 1 a.m. You can sit here. There's no cost whatsoever. If you just want to chill out, use their Wi-Fi, relax in the breeze. This is the island life, man. And I'm not even in Jamaica right now. All right. That's what we talk about. What's up, E? Mo better. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live Stream. Another investor is in the house. And he has that lovely icon next to his name, which I humbly appreciate. And welcome once again to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live Stream. He says, what's up, E? I see you warming up the stage. Exactly. I'm warming it up up in here, man. If you missed it earlier, we had Taro, who's the owner of this spot. Soleil's Bar and Beach Club, but it's Soleil's Beach Club. He was here. You saw him on screen. He said the show's going down November, not November, May 9th through the 12th, the musical event, May 13th, 14th, and 15th. Well, you guys know we coming down here, right? And we have business to do in the SSN Lifestyle in Punta Cana Investors Forum. And if you buy ticket. For the music festival, one dollar more gets you the three days of the investors forum. And Mo, I was warming up the stage at Laramar upstairs with the three horsemen, communications director, Mr. Germany, and Juan Andreas. They said we need a sit down. I said that's why I showed up. I just don't talk shit in person. I talk shit on TV as well and in person. So that's why I came to see you. I'm still talking it. The same thing. You ain't making it. But you can change my contract for me. Oh, look. hold on now. We got to talk about when I made videos and you guys are sitting here throwing ads on my video. I didn't care at first. I said I didn't get no compensation. Now I care. Now I need compensation. And now I need an understanding on when this shit's going to be done. You ain't fooling me. You ain't building this stuff. Extend my contract at least six months. Then you can talk to me. But then they said, hold on, Eric. Hold on. We got to sit down. We got to have a little powwow. You don't believe. No, I don't believe. I know I don't believe. What are you talking about? Okay, Eric, let me tell you something. So we had a little powwow and there's some things I can't actually discuss. It's it's because of I can't discuss because basically there's Dominican Republic. Get this. I didn't find out till yesterday that the minister uh, that does the permits in DR in this area, he died. When he died in the last two months, the permit office shut down. So they can't get no, but no builder could get anything hardly done because the permits had to be redone. So now the line starts again all over. Unfortunately, that's one of the things that did happen. And I heard it from several people while I've been here the last two or three days. So now clearly you can't do anything if you don't have permits or shall I say, shouldn't be doing anything if you don't have permits. All right. So just letting you know. So we had a little sit down. Yeah, um, there's nothing real juicy other than we had to sit down and everything that I said is what I told them. And they're like, Eric, you no, 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 we do this. This is what we do. This is what I said. I don't really care what you do. I don't care what you did in Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador. I don't really care. That has nothing to do with it. We're in the DR. So here's the one of the things that you can take away, Mo Better, and everybody else. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So when I told them, I said, okay. Then tell me something. If you can build things so fast and explain when you're the st a structural company for Oceana, it's not finished yet. 
If you can build one floor, I'm going to tell you something that they said, one floor a week. If you can create one floor a week, then how come Oceana is not done after two and a half years? If you're the structural engineers and supposed to do the gray area, you know what they said? I couldn't believe my ears. They said, uh, actually, we only build. It's not our project. We only build when they tell us to build. I said, excuse me? What did you just say? They're like, yes. If the developer comes and says only do building one, then we only do building one. Whatever they want us to build is when we build. So they don't want us to just do the whole thing like we're we're going to do on ours. They want so that's what we do. I said, damn, that is a freaking good answer because I was holding you accountable for that. So I said, wait, so what about all this like Ocean Bay when you had to finish that up and stuff? He said the same thing. Ocean Bay started out. They brought us in. And then they said, well, do it then. So we had to wait till they said do it then. And then they had to get permits to do, you know. I said, oh, now you're making sense. I said, all right, we got a problem. Hold up. What about them holes from the volcanic rock? And what's going to happen when you have to do a foundation? You know what happens? They bring over a sample of coral that they can use. That's a rock. It's interesting. And they're going to fill the holes. And they said all the holes that they find, they're going to fill them up with cement. Or if the hole is big enough, they're going to do something. But they said they've been able to figure out how to do the foundations with the perforations in the in the uh, rocks and they have to smooth it over and it's almost like a layer they said the streets are going to be made of this i wish i should have taken a picture it's sick they figured out a way so they've been doing engineering to figure out how to make it work for the project after they realized no you're not going to be able to put up 15 tons on freaking volcanic rock and think you're good that's right. This is what we knew a year and a half ago, right? Come on now. So they finally figured it out. That's another thing. I said, okay, but here's the bottom line. They're sitting here trying to tell me in uh, Bolivia, the building was 250,000 square meters. All right. 250,000 square meters. They're saying that they can build one floor a day because they bring in, remember I told you about the cranes? They go, hey, Eric, you know we have all the cranes. I said, I know you guys are the only ones. That's why you can do stuff faster. I said, but that's not good enough. What about all the rest of the equipment? They go, oh, we imported it in. It's sitting in Santo Domingo. We have all the equipment. We have now hired, brought in uh, uh, workers from Asia. So we have the workers I'm like, oh, now you're starting to say magic numbers, magic words. He says, yes, we got it all ready, but we still don't have paperwork for some sort of, first of all, up there in Veron used to be a garbage dump. So, so that creates a situation where you actually have to have clearance. So just keep that in mind. So they're dealing with some of that too. So that's some of the paperwork. So I'm giving you guys some inside info. So I said 230,000 square meters and we're building one level a week. So I said, okay, well, how big is a, a Laramar Towers? They go, they're only 30,000 square meters. So we can do that one level a week. Then we can do 30,000 square meters. We can do that in 14 months. 12 to 14 months, we'll be done. I said, yeah, but 12 to 14 months from now is going to be May. May, June, or July. They said, yeah. So here's the deal two towers tower one tower two is going to be built the sports complex I, I i'm still not understanding if horizon one is going to be built but they say i think horizon one they claim is going to be built but here listen to this they said if they wanted to they could build 20 buildings in one year, that's how much equipment they brought over. But they said, we're not building 20 buildings. But they said, we're going to do it. And then they started saying, you know, we have a reputation. You know, we have whatever. I said, "Who?" I said, I don't know nothing. 
but I'm hearing you. It's very nice. You guys are up here drinking the Kool-Aid. All of you are still drinking Kool-Aid up in here, but I'm not. And people calling me up, asking me what's going on, and you guys not answering questions and doing anything. I'm like, hey, home on now. So now, that's right. You had to sit down, and you know what that means. We have an understanding now. Because now they said, hey, Javier is the communications director. If you want information, you talk to him directly. Don't listen to anybody else. We're going to talk to you now. Oh, and by the way, we're going to promote your SSN Lifestyle Punta Cana Music Festival as well. I'm like, oh, what? We're promoting it to Spain, Europeans. So when they come over, they'll know about your music fest. I said, oh, oh, now you're starting to talk, right? Because, of course, we had that conversation about them running videos on my, running commercials on my videos, and I'm not getting compensated. I said, hold on now. What's happening here? That's not good business. I said, I, as long as I loved you guys, I didn't care. But now that we have this little spat, I do care. So now I want some. And like I told them, Mo, where's my stocks? <laughs> and they all were like, they were all like, they were like, what's good? They all look, they were all like, oh, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah. I said, what's your stock price right now? They're like, I said, what, 390, 380? They're like, no, 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 it's three dollars and eight cents. Yeah, I wonder why it's not risen anymore after a year that it risen almost damn near one hundred percent. That's right. Yeah. So I'm like, and so I'm got not getting any stocks, but they did say, "Hey, Eric, we're gonna have a conversation about that." And I'm like, "Yeah, okay, we're gonna have a conversation about that." So anyhow, we will see what's happening. So they're doing one building at the time. No, Victor Morrell, they're doing one floor at a time. So, no, they're only doing, there's going to be three buildings first phase. Horizon 1, Prime Tower 1, Prime Tower 2, and congratulations, everybody. They just told me they're selling one bedrooms at Laramar for 130000 They are not 90000 no more. They said one thirty. I was just like, oh, my God. And then how much are two bedrooms in? I didn't even ask because I didn't care. But I'm going to find out about two bedrooms later on. Okay. Is the in the order they were introduced? Yes. It's Prime Towers 1, Prime Towers 2, and Horizon 1. Those are the first phase. They're uh, claiming the sports complex, nine holes of golf. Everything that was supposed to be in first phase, except – I wasn't clear on the hotels because I don't know if the hotels are going to be in there. All right. So what if you bought the last project is the order they were introduced? What do you mean? Oh, you mean like uh, breeze towers or paradise towers? Both are going to be okay. One of them, I think breeze towers building one is going to be done June, 2026 paradise towers is slated for December, 2026. That's what they told me. All right. So that's how it's going to go. Now, everybody who was not in first phase, you're, uh, you have insurance. That's why the price costs more too. So if you put money in and they don't, um, the insurance company is going to pay you. If they don't deliver on time, you can uh, file the claim to get the insurance, all your money back. So I, the thing about everybody who bought in first phase, apparently, I think you have to pay. I wasn't really clear because I wasn't concentrating on that. So we were having a little kumbaya moment because we were all being candid. Because we were all saying exactly what we needed to say and get done. How are we going to move forward? How are you going to make this happen? We're going to make it happen. Rest assured, we got it down. We now can move stuff right because we finally figured out what to do because of the weight situation. You got to know that. So, okay, so you have to wait for the rest of the project to be sold first? No, you don't have to wait. They're still selling. So I don't, I'm, I don't understand your question, but all the phases are going down according to plan. There's nothing that has to sell first. The stuff that was selling, the prime towers were prime towers one and two, and horizon one, those are the first ones sold. That's the first phase. So they're selling the other phases. As you know, Prime Towers 1, 2, 3, and 4 are sold out. And Breeze Towers is selling pretty fast, and so is Paradise. So, okay. Okay. So you guys got a chance to talk. That's cool. Did they mention 
if a third of the boardwalk would be completed by the first phase? Yeah. 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 They, they, I, I don't know if it's a third, but that sounds about right because it's not half of a mile. So it, they said it's going to be a few kilometers. So yeah, it, I mean, not kilometers, a few meters, but they, yeah, there's, oh, there's going to be a beach. Two beach clubs are going to be open, two beach clubs. And they're, they're going to have two restaurants, but they don't know if it's going to be an open or, but they're going to have two restaurants ready. They may or may not be open due to the, the amount of people that be, will be coming and they're renting the beach club renting which now you know any visitor has to pay owners do not but visitors are gonna have to pay so it's a normal beach club just like pearl beach club uh similar where you pay right just like at uh connor rock where you do the consumption thing you gotta pay but if you're an owner you don't pay all right but they're gonna rent it out every retail space is rentable even the beach clubs. Okay, right. Um, yeah, Mo, it's about a third. Not a third. No, 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 no. A third because the boardwalk's going to be a uh, what was it? Uh, three kilometers. It's not going to be one kilometer. I think it's it's not supposed to be one kilometer. It's a half a kilometer. Just so you know, on the first phase. All right. Paradise Towers one, two, three, four will be on time in first phase. No, Paradise Towers was never in first phase, and neither is Breeze. Those are those are in phase two and phase three, so to speak. Breeze Towers delivery date is June twenty twenty six, and uh, uh, Paradise Towers is December twenty twenty six. They were never part of the first phase. Horizon Tower 1 also scheduled to be completed on time in first phase. Yes. H1. Horizon 1, yes. So really only three towers are going to be built, but they're claiming they can do it. Because they said they can do 20 if they wanted to at one time within 14 months because they brought enough cranes. Remember I told you guys they're going to have to bring more cranes in order to speed up the process? Well, guess what? They did. They did, man. All right. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to run, but it's not because of anything else. It's got, I told Taro I was going to do what, 20, 15, 20 minutes, right? I meant to say prime towers. Yes. Yes. No. Only prime towers one and two. First phase. Or actually, here's the thing. So when we're talking, I'm listening to what I want to listen to. So prime tap okay they get they showed me a new um rendering it was more like a, a typography and they kept pointing at prime towers and i i keep forgetting in that square was four towers so i'm going to clarify with them tomorrow it could be one two three and four because they kept saying prime towers and showing the square and it kept pointing like it was one or two but it might have been all four because all they had was a outline. And so I could barely see it because it was black and red and you couldn't see exactly. And it was like pointing at the screen showing. So we'll see if it's one through four, then he said he kept saying prime. So I took it as prime one, two and H one. So if it's prime one, two, three and four, fine. But they say they can do it either way. They say they can do it. I'm going to be excited to see it. So it's going to be awesome. All right. So there you go, Mo. It's going down. It's going down. Eric, we'll catch up. I know you got to run, but I have questions. I know you'll get the information. Can't wait to get out there. Yeah, I, I'll have all the answers, man. Uh, in fact, just hit me up, man. Just send me messages. I'm here. I'm going to go see them tomorrow or the next day, and then I can just go down the list. If anybody has any questions of Laramar, uh, just go to the WhatsApp group. All right, the new the, the WhatsApp group. Hold on. Let me put this in here. Go to the WhatsApp. And uh, you can ask questions in the WhatsApp group. All right. Everybody's welcome. Except the spammers. You guys are crazy out here. All right. But um, go to the WhatsApp group and go check it out. 
All right, that makes sense. But even owners need to pay for consumption at the beach club. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The beach club, every beach club, you pay for consumption. What it is is you get to, you don't have to, there's no entry fee. So if you want to come and hang out at the beach club, just like I'm at Soleil's bar right now, where it doesn't cost you anything, just like Villa Blanca doesn't cost you anything, you can come hang out. Club 365 doesn't cost you anything. So if you decide to eat something, you eat. If you don't eat anything, you can still come and hang out. That's what's so beautiful about this. So that's what I mean. There's no, you, you come hang out. So at, at Laramar, just how we're hanging out here at Soleil, Soleil's right now, that's what happens with owners. But at Laramar, it's going to be like also like, uh, like uh, Pearl Beach Club, Connor Rock, where there's going to be an entry fee for everybody that's not an owner, which I guess will probably end up being a consumption fee, you know? Either way. So if I want to eat at the beach club as an owner at Laramar, I just pay like I would pay to eat here. I don't have to pay for entry. We still get to use the beach club. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, so their cover charge goes towards the bill. No, there's no cover charge. Okay, so okay, so like at Pearl Beach Club and at Connor Rock, or uh, yeah, Connor Rock, when you try to go through to the beach, you got to pay. 20 what is it 30 dollars well that some people said it's 40 dollars so that's 40 dollars whether you eat or not so like right now i'm at soleil's beach club i don't have to eat i don't have to do anything i can come and sit down if i want to go eat then i order food but there's no entry no cost that's what they're doing at laramar no cost for owners to go down to the beach club and use the beach club the cost is for visitors which will be like, I'm assuming, a, like the normal consumption fees thing. So if you're a visitor, you're going to have to pay. But if you're my visitor and I live there, then we get in no cost. Now, if we want to eat there, then we pay for the food. So, I mean, it all depends on how you look at it, I guess. Because generally, if you're going to be at the beach club, you're probably going to order drinks. Or maybe even food. I mean, so it's almost like you're going to spend $30 either way. Or 40 or 50 or 60 or 100 So... Either way, you're going to get money. So that's what makes it kind of cool. Yeah, a lot like Pearl Beach Club is that way. Um, yeah, a lot of them are that way where you pay to go in. All right. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We did the live stream. You guys saw Taro. He was on screen himself. He can't renege now because, you know, we haven't officially signed anything. He's just worried about the cost and all that. But don't worry. We're on it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have somebody that's going to sponsor this thing, right? It's going to be off the charts. And by the way, I had to send over money to the artist today. My hard earned money. That's crazy. That's thousands of dollars for these guys to come for one set. Yay. All right. Well, I got to go meet Gwen at 11 p.m. tonight because, again, we're making moves because Johnny is going to be over there. And he has the artists that play at all the casinos, all the, the all inclusive resorts. He knows the bands. You know what that means. That means if I stay here long enough, talent contest, and you know where that's going to be. We're going to promote in this place, Soleil's Beach Club. So I'm going to end this tonight, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So you guys are going to have to find out more. But go to the chat room, and you can ask your questions about Laramar there or any other questions. And if you guys need anything else, you guys know I love you very much. You can always hit me up at support at stopstrugglingnow.com. But once again, don't forget to go get your tickets to get down here next month, whether you're going to come to the Puna Kana Investors Forum or you're going to come to the Music Festival. But if you come into the Music Festival and want to go to the Investors Forum, you have to buy a Music Festival ticket and then pay one dollar. All right. That's how simple this is. But if you're just coming to the Punta Cana Investors Forum, you have to pay the two hundred and forty nine dollars right now. No hotels included. No uh Nothing else is included. No transportation, no hotel. But transportation will be included because we're going to meet at 10 a.m. in a certain location. And at 10.05 a.m., 10, 10 a.m., not 10 p.m., 10 a.m. in the morning on the 13th, 14th, and 15th, 10.05, we're departing to the journey of the day. So just letting you guys know, you're just going to have to catch up. But we're going to be talking with developers. We're going to be talking with attorneys. We're going to be talking with 
bankers. We're going to be talking with a lot of different people that you need to know about. You want to find out about every little different thing to do and start? You start that off with an SRL, with the business. You got to set that up. Well, that's why we have the attorneys on first day. Stand by. So you can ask, you want to open up a bank account? We have the attorneys that help you with that first day standby. So we can get you approved so you can get in and get yourself a bank account so you can get established banking wise in the United in uh, Dominican Republic. All right. So I hope that settles everything. All right. Here we go. You meeting Gwen. Whoa, that's what's up. Yeah, man, me and Gwen, we back on the page. You know why? Gwen's actually actually helping me get the artist. He actually helped me get in touch with Taro yesterday, we came up here and talked to Taro. He brought me over here after Jessapie at Villa Beach Club started acting stupid. He goes, ah, we came over here to Taro. Taro's like, what? Hell yeah, we only play house music here. I would love to have real bands. I would love to have a different genre of music. We never have that here. Hell yeah, I'll even get you sponsors. I'll try and get you sponsors. I was like, whoa, whoa, I'm going to help you promote. I'm like, whoa, whoa, now we're talking. So yeah, the best things happen when other people decide to act stupid all right so this is where it's at yeah and tell glennie i said i'm coming i told her earlier today i met with her too today i met with Gennaro today me and Gennaro and glennie we have a sit down tomorrow officially tomorrow night because i told him it's ssn nation takeover now he's saying hey i might want to be in the promotions for this still ssn lifestyle music festival i said yeah you might want to be because that's the whole point. It was a real estate thing to begin with. It wasn't about the music. Now it's going to be about the music and the real estate thing because, Mo, it's going down, man. SSN Nation Takeover should be complete sometime next week. I should have funds in my account in the DR. All right. We're going to end it with there, ladies and gentlemen. And with all that said, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. But you know, we try to make it easy for you. No credit check, no qualifying, buying stocks, no credit check, no qualifying, buying real estate, no credit check, no qualifying, creating your own business or buying a business. So therefore, we put you in the wheelchair where you can relax later, or we put you in the front seat and drive. You're driving, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we want you to do. You drive the vehicle. You're driving the bus. You're the top dog in the house. And that's what we do around here. So come on down and join us because the big dogs, we're here already. And who knows if we're ever going to leave. And with all that said, just make sure you go out here. Auntie Val, with the heart, with the strength, we ain't stopping out here. And with all that said, make sure you stay safe. Make sure you make sure no matter what happens, like the girl saying, hey, I want to make sure you don't show me on video. You should ask. Ladies and gentlemen, you do realize one and for all, you are in a public space. There is no nuance of privacy. I'm just saying. But in the meantime, when somebody is not videotaping you, you should not be shouting out, stop videotaping me. I understand the camera's looking towards you, but it's actually facing me. I get you. All right. So let's just call it what it is, ladies and gentlemen. We got everyone in a crowd, but no face. It was about to be ugly on the screen. I was glad. I'm glad you guys didn't see me get ugly out here in the DR. The wife, the husband just said, hey, hey, hey. He, didn't, he didn't get in my face. That was a good, good move on his part. All right. So once again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. I should mention this also. You guys know we got to know government officials. You guys know we got to shake hands. You guys know we got to know the police here. You know what I'm talking about. The big dogs in town. And we making waves, making it happen. We got a lot more to talk about. But you guys, we'll talk about it on Friday because I should have more news, a lot more news. And with all that said, make sure you stay safe. Make sure you keep your head up. Make sure you keep it above water. Make sure you don't get in confrontations. Make sure you try to stay safe. But then more importantly, whatever happens throughout life, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out. I see we're at the beach. I'm not gone yet. Not just yet. What's happening here? Didn't want to go. Well, we'll make it happen now. But again, you guys, I'm out.
I think. They're trying to get me out of here.